Oh my gosh, go figure, go figure this one. Okay, hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The latest news is Eric Holder. Yes, remember him? Eric Holder is going to have a meeting with his supporters in the news media to help rally support against, wait a minute, against all the people he hasn't gone after. I'm trying to figure out who is left. Let's see, which now? NBC Yeah. and ABC. Oh, those are the ones that are left? Yeah. That he hasn't gone after. But everybody else he has, you know, like, what is it, CBS, Fox, the CNN, CNN, the Associated Press, mm -hmm. well, New York Times. Oh, yeah, so I guess he's trying to rally support? Well, for now. I know. Go figure that one. Well, for now, we're going to bring on Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they said that uh, the day Eric Holder is handling his problems with the press, uh, the President of the United States is handling his problems with the, going to appoint a Republican to be the, uh, the, the, the new head of the FBI. Oh, that's right. He did make a mistake today without a teleprompter. He went, as they say, bulwark. He, he basically, when he does that, he tells people the truth. And he basically said, we're reporting a, re reporting a Republican uh, under the Bush administration to, you know, so that the Republicans won't think that we're being unfair by having Eric Holder investigate himself. And then uh, they said, you know, hey, Mr. President, you mean that you're appointing a guy simply mm -hmm. to take the heat off? No, that's not what I said. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, somebody replay the video, well, things over, mm -hmm. his conference is over again. When he's, not on a pre when he's not on a teleprompter, folks, this guy is horrible. And Holder plan for off-the-record meetings hit snag. Oh, yeah. Let's see, uh, New York Times isn't there, Fox isn't there, CBS isn't there. Everybody that he's went after in the media is not going to be at his off-the-record thing. But guess who is going to be there? Uh -huh. they, they said the Obama suck-ups. The major suck-ups are all going to be at the deal to have an off-the-record meeting where he explains to them how what he did he never did do, and is being and Fox News and the Republicans are trying to destroy him because he's a black man and basically it, everything that he does. First of all, the man doesn't understand. He's on the ropes. When you're on the ropes, you're you're like the sharks. The press have always been like sharks. And if there's blood in the water, they'll go after you. Somebody will release anything that he says derogatory to members of the press is going I to know. make it out. They will not end up off the record, folks, the same way. It, it just sounds ridiculous. Yeah, and there's too many people. And more than likely, it won't come from the press. It's got to come from somebody, one of his aides that really doesn't like him is going to release it. And then they're going to say, well, Fox News and Republicans did this. Yeah, it's kind, it's kind of like hearing some of these things um, that come out. You're like... The only way that could have come out was from the White House. Yeah, they know yeah. it come out, and then you know, then you know, uh, the next day, like right now, Carney is explaining to the press how they cut the White House in another lie. Well, we guarantee we had no knowledge of this. Well, they had knowledge as far back as a year ago, and one of them now. And you tell me, they said the president was kept out of the loop for a year. One of the guys. That uh, one of the people who's suing the, suing everybody now about this stuff because he's a church, mm -hmm. and if a church basically, well, then we have to know of all that we have to know the names of all the students that you have in your school, what their parents do for a living, and who they supported politically. No, it's a church thing, folks, mm -hmm. and uh, you, you can't do that. First of all, the law prohibits you asking the names of the students. It also prohibits you from asking. Uh, who they politically, uh, what party they belong to, and they, who they politically supported, those are against the law, and uh, that was done May the 6th. Uh, long after Obama said, well, we have been told that this stopped. Uh, and New York Senator, new Statue of Liberty security risky. Oh, yeah, they're going to, they stopped uh, everybody going to the Statue of Liberty because of the latest scare. Oh, they did? Yeah, now, well, we're going to let people come, but now they're going to have to make two or three stops at checkpoints before they're going to be allowed to get to, uh, the, before they're able to get there now, which makes it, okay, you can't make your schedule. If you're on a tour bus, you cannot, the tour bus is not going to sit there and wait for three or four hours for you to go through security checks to go to the Statue of Liberty and then come back. They've made what was a few hour tour an all day event is you have to stop two or three places now for security oh, no. checks. Which means the camera bags all come out, you gotta check that, check people for weapons, check them for explosives and okay, oh here BS the bullet got something very important to tell the people that are security conscious. Most modern explosives don't show up on any sniffers now. <gasps> 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. They forgot about that. Oh thing. yeah. I oh BF the Bull says, Go look at the go look at the six million dollar man. They were talking about non findable explosives as far back as thirty seven years ago. <laughs> And auto sales have recovered. No, they haven't. I mean, this morning, the, the, the biggest bull is that, uh, that these companies are, are raking in. Okay, the companies combined aren't doing as good as Toyota used to do before the crash. They're not buying new cars. They're buying old cars. They're, you know, the, the, the old cars are selling at a premium because no one wants to buy the new cars. It's just like the biggest bunch. Okay, BS has got something to say. He said, if your company has never made a profit mm -hmm. and you are $500 million in debt and you made the first profit you ever made was last month, how did you manage to pay off a loan 10 years early? It is a mathematical impossibility for Tesla to have paid off the loan 10 years early with only one profitable month in an entire career of a business. Well, and they keep delaying that, the release of their cars. So There's like, no, okay, we know people that can't get the, the cars that they purchased. They had like a six month wait and so they got frustrated waiting. Yeah, right? they want and their money back. And this is what's going on. Uh, you know, the Tesla can't deliver. They're building the cars out of the country. And, and what happens is, like General Motors, well, General Motors has paid back its loan. Well, General Motors borrowed money. They took money from one government pocket and put it in another government pocket. So they no longer owe that loan, but they owe like $25 billion in other loans, which means they're deeper in debt. Today, the stock is worth no more than when Obama had it re-put back on the market, which means the company isn't making any money. And California's Democratic lawmakers push for tighter gun control. Yeah, and Democrats, okay, what happened was the Democrats took control of Republican areas like in Orange County and others because uh, they, uh, because the minorities are taking over those areas. <laughs> the problem is minorities, the, the Latinos love their guns. Uh -huh. Afro-Americans love their guns. They do. Yeah, and uh, they also, well, the people realize it or not, the majority of the people going to shooting ranges don't happen to be Caucasians. They happen to be people, Afro-Americans that like to target practice, Latinos that like to target practice, they like to hunt. So they said, well, there's no way we're going to get there. Okay, you're no longer going to be able to buy ammunition in the state of California without undergoing a Are background you serious? check. That you have to, the background check is going to cost you five times more than the ammunition you're buying, which they say will put an end to gun sales in the state of California. But they'll do like, anybody with a half a brain, they'll simply go to, uh, they'll go to, you know, to at one of the states around like Nevada and pick up box loads of ammunition and bring them back because, you know, the one thing they don't, they, they can't do anything at the border uh, when they do the agricultural check. There's no law about bringing ammunition into the state. Oh, they of don't ask about, they're just looking for agriculture. That's right. So, they, like we saw people when they had the ban, uh, okay, they put this ban on over 60 inch sets that didn't work because people were going to Nevada and bringing back 60 inch sets, They're bigger than 60 inch sets in the back of their pickup, so it didn't work well. They were also loading trucks full and bringing them in. And suicide bombers attacked peaceful province in Afghan North. Yeah, because the Taliban, okay, as we pull out the Taliban grains in, in strength again, so we're, we're basically, Obama will be listed as, as causing uh, my guess is World War III, he, they, one of the people said uh, that he will be listed as the Neville Chamberlain of the 21st century because more wars will be started because of his, you know, we've got it, we can't interfere with that. Well, you interfere with things to keep things from happening. Not, you say, okay, here's what one once said, I don't really give a rat's ass about the people of those countries. I just don't want their war spreading here. And if we have to keep it there, then that's what our soldiers should be doing. Here's one, my father was in the military, I was in the military, we come a zillion years. A soldier's job is not to fight a war, a soldier's job is to keep the peace. Mm -hmm. They are not to kill people, they are to keep the peace. And disputes over arms for Syria cloud the U.S.-Russian peace drive. Well, yeah, because the Syrians, they, uh, they, this morning they said that they act, uh, the Israeli Mossad said that uh, the, the, the missile batteries are now active in Syria, and if we fly our plane, if we try to put up a no-fly zone, they will shoot us out of the sky, folks. Ooh, and northern Myanmar city calm after latest communal violence. Yeah, Myanmar, okay, the problem is, is the, Myanmar is a very religious country, and it's a communist country now, and they don't go together, folks, and they will eventually lose ground because um, 
You notice that they, after they finally gave up trying to keep the Buddhist out of China. Oh, they did? Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, that, uh, it, it, we're going to try it again. In a modern era of communication, you cannot say one minute after you said something that you didn't say it because they can replay exactly what you said. 